Hey everybody, I'm here with Aaron Brenner from uh, Hopkins, Michigan. Aaron's a dairy farmer that I've known for quite a while and he came up with a, a great idea for his pump tractors to reduce idle time and improve his loading time. Um, Aaron, what do you got there in your hand? A remote control? Yep, we got a remote control here so I can uh, start the tractor from the uh, um, tank tractor and we can uh, turn the PTO on and fill the tank. All right, why don't you start the tractor one, show us how easy it is. He's got some buttons on there to control the uh, PTO as well as the idle of the tractor. There's three idle positions. Um, you can shut it down, they won't be able to, won't be able to hear very well uh, over this. Or, do you want to turn the PTO on a second? Okay. There goes the PTO. Aaron can uh, show us a different idle position. And shutting it down. Go ahead. Aaron, shut it off if you, you don't got mind. It's got to do it. Oh, it's got it. So it's got a timer on it, a delay. Um, for, uh, for shutdown so we can make sure everything's cooled down. So here we, Aaron's put it on a John Deere 78, or 7410 um, so it can go on any uh, age or vintage tractor. Uh, a little potentiometer here to control the throttle. Aaron's gonna show us uh, the cab. All right, Aaron, well, how far away does that work? How, uh, how close do you have to be to the tractor to get that to work? Uh, it's rated for 100 meters, and I've gone further away than that. So, so really, at the end of your pipeline, or when you're pulling into the farm, yeah, you, you can start it up. You've got yep. control over everything. Mm -hmm. Show us just a little bit of the features there, and the, the remote, and maybe on the controller, uh, so people can understand. Okay, on the the controller here, um, everything on the controller can be done on the remote also, and uh, we have a load counter built into it, and it has a total count which uh, keeps track over the, you know, whatever pit you're in or over the season, however you want to do it. And then uh, the daily count resets every time that uh, the power is cycled on the unit here. Um, so you got three different RPM settings. Yep. You can start and stop the tractor. You can start and stop the PTO, uh, all from the remote or from the seat of the tractor. Yep. And it's uh, tied into the... Uh, on this tractor it's tied into the stoplight so if uh, anything were to go on that would cause the stoplight on the dash to come on this thing will uh, shut the tractor right down all right so any so any reason that the uh, that the dash stoplight lights up uh, the tractor just shuts off so yep. uh, that's fantastic that's fantastic so, so Aaron wants to demonstrate to us uh, how the system works he's in the uh, tanker tractor now uh, we just walked up here, paced it off at 60 steps um, from the pump tractor to the tanker tractor. Uh, each one of his guys hauls about 35 loads a day. Um, we'll do the math, but it sounds like about a mile and a half uh, to me that he's eliminated walking. Uh, he's eliminated 120 steps uh, over 35 loads a day. So he is currently backing up here. And as he backs up, uh, he's paying attention to his spout, but he could have had the tractor started already. And there it goes. The horn just went off and the tractor started. Aaron's still sitting in the cab of the tanker tractor. They're turning the PTO on. I see the hose starting to fill. And there it hit its first RPM. Uh, change so uh, he's now at about half throttle with the tractor and as the hose fills there goes the second rpm so now he's at uh, his rated throttle where he wants to be and the tank's being filled now Aaron said he cut his fill time in half using this uh, not his cycle time but his filling time has been cut in half with this system 